guys welcome to a new video on fake and real just for you today i'm going to show you some quick tips how to identify a real burberry jacket now as an example here i have a trench coat i'm going to show you what to look at when you're buying a burberry jacket or a burberry product second hand on the internet so let's start at the label and that's mostly center of the jacket right on top now i mentioned many many times in all my videos that the seams are very important in every product especially a high very exclusive but also expensive brands we start at the top the top seam looks very good and consistent now it looks a little crooked but that's normal because it's a jacket probably not straightened out even if it's a little crooked that's okay it's about consistency in the seam work and the spacing. As you can see here, between the seam and the jacket, the spacing is consistent and looks very good. The left side, same thing. And the right side, also the same thing. At the bottom, we're seeing the exact same thing. The next thing is the image. And in every image, in every text, in every lettering, is very detailed and very specifically done. It's always very clear and is not sloppy again because of consistency and spacing as we can see here the horse is very clear and all of the patterns that it has same as the soldier with the shield and the weapon he's holding now the brand name as well the brand name down here is nice and spaced every letter is spaced perfectly and you can immediately see that the branding is also centered in the middle comparing it the image on top Another tip is look at the spacing in between the patterns and see if it's centered in the middle of the jacket. Now, as you can see here, you have a red line on this side and a red line at the other side. Also, looking at the label space in between those red lines, you can see that they're identical to each other. Spacing is also very important. Down here, we can see that the spacing is also identical to each other. And just for fun, let's see the top. Now we can see at the top here, also when we compare the left side, the corner with the spacing, and this small part here into the black line, you can see that it's the same thing at the right side. You can even see that it's there and the spacing is exactly the same. Now we're going to go to a, the smaller label underneath the bigger one. Now again, spacing is very important. The words and the letters should be the same quality as the top. Of course, depending on the jacket, the name can differ, but also the font that's being used can be different. Now, the spacing between these two words is also done correctly. The word the is beautifully spaced from the word Sandringham, and also the letters individually are spaced perfectly. Now, going back to my other tip, looking at the seams, we can see that the spacing and the consistency is almost all over the label the same. Now in this corner, a little off. Same thing on this top here and this piece on this side, on the left side. If we, if we would have straightened it out, it could be very much straight. Now again, doing the same thing what we did with the bigger label with spacing, we do the same thing with the smaller one. Now as we can see here in the right side corner, a small piece here is in the black bar, is identical on the left side. The top, same thing. Spacing is exact the same as the other side the bottom part you have the same spacing and the same equal amount of space as i mentioned before centering the words is also an important part looking at the image you can actually see a good part of the letter is outside of that black line and if you go to the m at the end we can actually see a part of that letter is also on the outside of the black line giving the spacing on both sides almost equal, giving you a good idea that this label is centered perfectly. I mentioned the quality of the chain in many videos. And the thing you need to look for are any defects in the chains, bubbles or sloppy defects. But don't confuse it with scratches or dents. Every circle of the chain needs to be polished very nicely and should be identical to the next. Now, as I can see here, the chain looks perfect. Another very important thing is that this chain is actually centered 
right in the middle. If we compare it with the black lines again, we can see that the spacing here and on this side is equal to each other, meaning it's centered. Especially the label of the size is exactly in the middle. If we look at these corners here, they are exactly the same size, giving me the comfort to saying that this is definitely a quality piece. Now centering all these parts and labels is time consuming. I can only expect that high brands as Gucci, Prada or any other brands that do this to give you the quality that you paid for. The button is also very important. The button has two important parts. One is the branding on the button. Now again, this may differ from jacket to jacket, especially if it's made of this type of material, it would definitely look like an indent. Another thing is, is you need to look at this pattern. It almost looks like an N or a Z. It has a thick layer on this side. It has one string going over to the other side and then a couple more strings on this side. So you have a thick side here, one point that goes to the other side and then some strings on the other side. This is a small detail that you can almost find in every trench coat. But again, this is a comparison for this jacket. There's a possibility that not all Burberry jackets with this type of button have this pattern. Labels are also very important. Now, if I'm not mistaken, trench coats of the 1980s and 1990s are different, but the seam work, the pattern work, and the consistency and everything should be the same. In this case, spacing is also very important. You can see that the brand name is beautifully centered between the lines and the seam work on the side. Same thing for the bottom part here. And also the description should be in clear font. It should not be sloppy letters. Also the spacing and the centering of this description should be beautifully aligned and the spacing on the sides should all be the same. Now the one last thing is what I talked about was consistency and patterns. Now, a good example here is when you open up the jacket and look at where the seams are. We can actually see that one seam starts here and the other one starts on this side. Now again, if we look at patterns and spacing, we can see that it's consistent. Now if we take the left side, we can see that the seam starts here and we have good space on here, it's on, on the left side, and a good spacing on the right side. And if we look at the right side, we can see spacing here, also a black line. The right side, a good amount of equal spacing as the other side, and also the same spacing left from the seam work. All right, guys, these were my tips on how to identify a real Burberry jacket or a real Burberry product. Now, these tips and tricks are not only for Burberry. These tips and tricks can also be used for other products, other brands, because in most cases, high quality brands use consistency in lettering, spacing, and material. Also, seams are very important. So keep these tips and tricks in mind because they will help you identify fake products and real products. Give you more confidence in buying products online from secondhand dealers. So again, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope these tips and tricks helped you. If so, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. And I hope to see you guys next time. Take care.